was there a disparity there between, I guess, maybe the understanding of what Brexit would be and what it is? Well, I mean, of course, these days you are being told you're very offensive and, you know, there's this accusation that, you know, leave voters are being accused as being, you know, stupid and not knowing. I think the problem is that barely anybody knows exactly what the European Union does, and that's just by default. Mm -hmm. It's a structural issue. I mean, you know, our focus is on national politics, and we're far more concerned with the Labour Party and Lib Dems and the Conservatives than what's happening in Europe. Also, Europe deals with a lot of essential but really boring things, you know, product standards, what kind of plastic to use, and, uh, you know, so that you can make sure that, you know, a, you know, a product in Lisbon has exactly the same quality as in London as in Athens. Now, who's interested in that? No one. You know, the, 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 the EU is a, is a giant when it comes to sort of economic policy, and it's a dwarf when it comes to real sort of politics, politics, foreign policy, for instance. So in that respect, there's very little understanding what the European Union does. And, uh, you know, of course, then this kind of emotional kind of feel that it brings in lots of foreigners completely uncontrolled and it takes our money and it tries to dominate us, I mean, uh, you know, on the fringes. You know, I, I don't blame, you know, I don't blame people not knowing about it.